What is the difference between axes of movement and planes of movement? Hi, I'm Hayley from Parallel Coaching and in this video I'm going to explore what axis of movement is, what planes of motion is and how you can understand the difference between those and really understand it in preparation for your level 3 anatomy and physiology exam. Whether you're working towards your Pilates, your yoga, your level 3 personal trainer, your exercise referral, the anatomy and physiology exam requires you to know about the body in motion. And that throws up a couple of terminologies, in particular, axis of movement and plane of motion. So let's sort of dive into what these are and why they are different. So first of all, planes of motion refers to the dimension that we're moving in. So if you think about our bodies, we are three dimensional bodies. We move in three dimensions, three planes of motion. Now these planes of motion are basically the three dimensions. So you've got three of them, <laughs> sagittal, frontal, and transverse. Now sagittal plane movements are basically the ones that are moving forward in this forward plane motion. So they include actions like flexion and extension. Whereas a frontal plane movement is moving out to the side, whereby you're essentially uh, only moving side to side. And that basically is referred to things like adduction and abduction as joint actions. And then the third plane of movement is transverse plane. And this is whereby you're rotating around or twisting. Now that those three planes combined allow us to achieve three dimensional movement in what we do day to day. So if you think about getting in the car, putting a seatbelt on, that's a three dimensional movement. We're not just literally like cartoon characters moving in one direction all the time. We move three dimensionally. And that's what the ability to use all three planes is all about. Now, each of these planes of motion have an associated axis of movement. Now, an axis of movement is essentially an imaginary line that the joint moves around. So an axis of the earth, for example, let's take that as a good example. You've got the earth and then the axis that we spin around is essentially the, the invisible line that allows the earth to spin and rotate around it. Now, if we take the axis of movement in any joint action, the axis of movement is the invisible line that the joint is moving around to allow that movement to take place. So let's look at your elbow, for example. You look at the elbow and you do flexion and extension of that elbow. And as you're doing flexion and extension, the invisible line, the axis of movement, is running side to side, isn't it? It's kind of going from the medial edge of your elbow across to the lateral edge of your elbow as you're doing flexion and extension. Now, what this is, is called a medial lateral uh, axis of movement. So that medial lateral axis of movement happens within the sagittal plane because we're doing flexion and extension. Now, just a quick note here is that it's going through each individual joint, this imaginary line. It's not through the middle of the body, like your manual might kind of suggest when it's trying to depict it in a quick image. It's each joint that is moving. So for sagittal plane movements, like I said a moment ago, it's always a medial lateral axis of movement. For a frontal plane movement, the axis of movement is going to be going from anterior, meaning the front of the body, to posterior, which is past, it's behind us. So it's anterior, posterior is the imaginary line, the axis of movement. Now, as that rotates, my arm moves around it, my joint, my shoulder joint moves around that axis of movement, which allows that joint action to happen in the frontal plane. And then finally, let's have a look at the transverse plane, whereby you have the longitudinal axis of movement. Now, I really like to imagine this one as the ballerina in the jewellery box. So imagine those old school jewellery boxes that you open up. And as you open it up, there's a ballerina spinning on this, this spike, really, isn't she? She's spinning around. The spike is this long spike that goes sort of from her head all the way down to her toe. So it's that longitudinal axis. The axis is the spike and she is rotating around that spike. She's spinning around it. Now, the same applies for longitudinal axis on us. If I've got a longitudinal axis going through my spine, I can rotate around side to side. Or if I've got a longitudinal axis going down through my forearm, I can 
pronate and supinate my arm. So I've got this ability to move three dimensionally as a result of the plane of movement, whereby that's sagittal, frontal and transverse, and the axis of movement, which is medial lateral, anterior posterior and longitudinal. So I've got different terminology and they mean different things, but they relate. They all relate to each other. So that's the key thing to understand. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop some mock questions alongside this video so you can test your knowledge on what I've just taught you about the difference between planes of movement and axis of movement. So what you've got to do is find those, just join the link that is with this video, or if you're watching on our blog, scroll down and you will see the mock questions at the bottom. And then once you've tested your knowledge, then you can really dive in and see what areas you need to refine your knowledge on. And if you do want extra help in preparing for your level three anatomy and physiology exam, then make sure you check out the information regarding our revision mastery boot camp where we'll literally explain about the body in motion but also about all other eight modules that you need to know in terms of all of that content to help you get ready and help you pass with confidence thank you so much for joining me today the other thing i'd love to hear from you is what your big takeaway is what's the thing that you've learned from this video today so drop that below the video in the comments and i look forward to seeing you on the next video take care Thank you.